Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with a tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here I'll be doing a demonstration of how to diagnose and repair the blend door actuator on a Ford Ranger. Don't forget to check out my website at www.4diyers.com and subscribe to my social media pages such as Google+, Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. Links are all included in the description below. This particular vehicle I am working with here today is a 1998 Ford Ranger, so there may be some variations between the years and models. The two main issues with a failing blend door actuator is when you adjust the interior temperature on the HVAC control panel, you will either hear a clicking sound or the temperature will be stuck on either hot, cold or won't adjust the cabin temperature. If you catch this issue in the right time, then it is repairable and you don't need to buy a replacement actuator, but that is only if the actuator is failing. If you hear a clicking noise in the dash, then the actuator is failing. For this truck, it is located behind the glove box. First remove the contents of the glove box, then bend the sides in and pull down. This will expose the main duct and the blend door actuator is either in a white or black box. This will depend if it has been replaced before or not, and it is located on the top. To remove the electrical connector, simply depress the tab and pull out. The electrical connector can be either back probed using a multimeter when in place or disconnected to test the controller circuit. Wiring may vary between the year, so check your wiring diagram specific to your vehicle. The pinout diagram will say which pin location connects to what part of the circuit. Turn the ignition in the run position, and this will be an extremely brief test. Using the multimeter on the lowest DC voltage setting, check to ensure if there is power out the circuit, along with a sufficient ground. Now setting the multimeter to the lowest ohm setting, we will want to measure the resistance to the potentiometer in the HVAC control panel. Values will vary depending on what your calving temperature is set at. Then finally, last test to determine the continuity on each side of the potentiometer. If it fails any parts of the test, then there is an issue with the HVAC control panel or the wiring. Next, we can simply remove the actuator and inspect it if it's functioning correctly. To remove it, simply depress the two tabs on the front and using a standard screwdriver, then pop it up. Unfortunately, you most likely won't be able to reach the back side, so gently pop the rest of it up using a screwdriver. Once disconnected, pull out. Another issue is that the shaft can break, either on the unit or on the door within the duct. If the door has broken within the duct, then the duct will need to be disassembled for replacement. Plug the actuator into the electrical connector, turn the ignition on in the run position, and test. Rotate the air temperature controller and watch the shaft rotate. It doesn't have a large amount of movement and won't move fast either. This one is still functioning, so most likely it just needs to be cleaned up inside. Now for disassembly of the actuator. Using a small standard screwdriver, slowly pop it apart around the outside. Try to hold it apart so it doesn't clip closed again. Remove the cap and then everything will be exposed inside. Careful so nothing falls apart. Wipe off any old lubricant. I used a paint marker just to align the gears to make it easier for reassembly. If you do lose its position for reinstallation, I'll show you how to find its location later on in the video. Then remove the gears and continue to clean off any old lubricant. Inspect the gears for any damage. The smaller drive gear by the motor, I have seen a replacement one on eBay if yours needs to be replaced. And it's much cheaper than buying a new replacement unit altogether. I have also seen assorted gear sets online so possibly there might be something in a kit which will work as a replacement. Clean the potentiometer with electronic contact cleaner and a clean rag. Do not contaminate this area with any oil or grease and inspect for any damage as well. Ensure the contacts on the shaft gear which runs against the potentiometer is clean and make sure they do ride correctly on the swipe area. Apply lithium grease to the gears and shafts they ride on. Reassemble the gears, lining everything back up and ensure the cases snap back together. Test to make sure it is working correctly. For reinstallation of the actuator, place it back onto the duct. If you have moved it, then it's not an issue. Connect the electrical connector, turn the ignition on in the run position and then slowly rotate the temperatures. Eventually the actuator will fall into the slot, then snap the unit back down into place. Test again. As you can hear, the operation is very quiet now. Push the glove box back into place by pushing in the sides. Be sure to stay up to date with my latest videos. Subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the button below the video. This concludes the rest of my video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, and if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to post them below. Thank you for watching.